good afternoon. My name is Dr. Juliana Ome, and today is the fifth day of May 2021. This venue is the University of Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. It's our induction day, and I'm glad to be the best graduate student with distinctions in internal medicine and surgery. So indeed, I'm being humbled by today's event. I give thanks to God for helping me to see this day, for giving me life, for also giving me the grace to come through. The past eight years, indeed, have been years of wonderful experiences. Memories have been made, great moments. And the highlights for me were the days that I will wake up and not have the strength to go to school, but I'll just find myself moving on. And one of the greatest things that I've kept moving is actually the that drive in me to be able to help people tomorrow. When I'm being faced with any task, no matter how difficult I ask myself, how would this benefit another person tomorrow? If I've been given the opportunity among the thousands that came to write the procedure me many years ago to be in this department, what can I do with my time to help humanity, to help my patients? And this single, singular question keeps me going. So I want to say to everyone listening to me out there, my junior colleagues especially, that anytime you, because medical school is, very, very tedious. I will not say it's hard, but I'll say it's tedious. It needs a lot of consistency. It needs your hard work. And medical school will try your patience. It will try your belief in yourself. It will try your past records, yes, because most of us in medical school have come with very great um, achievements from our previous educational career. So I want to say that whatever you are doing, and even if you're not a doctor or a medical student, just know that whatever you set your heart to do, just have your eyes fixed on going. You're going to get that and always know why you are in a journey because if you know why you're in your journey it's gonna be easier for you to get there and you sure will get there and then I want to say that 2020 was a bit of a low time for me and my colleagues because we we're meant to become doctors in April or maximum May of 2020 but then COVID-19 struck and the whole world was kept on a standstill and of course Nigeria was not left out so the NUC sent a memo and asked the universities to release all the students my class was majorly affected and when I felt a bit low because I asked myself why how long I was sorrowful little did I know that that was a premature sorrow because I was about to stay one full year in the house waiting to write my final examination of course one year came and it went while the one year was being spent I asked myself what can I do now with what I have already I felt like a doctor right just that I've not written my exam so then I started my YouTube channel Yes, because I always love maternal and child health. I believe very strongly that the Lord said that we should have life and life in abundance. John 10 verse 10. No woman should be pregnant and go through the child birth process without coming out alive. It's not supposed to be. And then so I hit the channel talking about maternal survival. I'm encouraging every youth out there. Do not think this message is for women alone or women that are giving birth. It's for everybody because if every youth knows that a woman who is pregnant should give birth and stay alive with her baby, then we'll always take the right decision. Please say no to crack, say no to Hebrew women and you go and kill yourselves because you want to be Hebrew. Just go to YouTube and type Juliana Ume, you see my channel, get to subscribe, listen to all the health talks, learn, subscribe, share the videos and learn so well and I promise you, because the Bible says that there are people perish for lack of knowledge, if you know better, you will surely do better and stay tuned to my channel, keep you educated because more are yet to come on that channel. Thank you very much and I wish you... I don't know why you